Hello everyone, this video I will show you how to install Home Assistant Operation System on the Smart Power Distribution Box. Because last video we have made this Smart Power Distribution Box based on the KS868 server. And also if you have a, this server board and not install on the box, you can also let it become smart and install the Home Assistant. Uh, this box is just for a demo. So if you use this uh, controller, you can also see this antenna. Uh, we can install the antenna. Uh, this one is ESP32 Wi-Fi module antenna. And this is RF433 uh, MHz RF antenna. And this is for Wi-Fi antenna. So there are many antenna. Uh, if you have the Raspberry Pi CM4 module have the Wi-Fi, you will have another new antenna at this hole. But uh, this box, we have installed the metal box. So the signal in the metal box will be very low. So we can install an extender antenna. You can see we can use this antenna. Like this one, uh, you can see uh, this is big. And this cable is long, about 1.5 meter. Also, we have, you can find uh, uh, 3 meter for long distance. So this is for SMA socket. And this socket you can install on, on this interface. And this one, uh, you can see this is magnetic. Uh, so you can install very easily. You can see I can very easy to install because uh, it can stick on the metal body. So that will be installed on the box and extend the Wi-Fi signal. And this video, because we mainly use the Ethernet, uh, so I'm not install the antenna. In future video, maybe we use the Wi-Fi, then we will install this antenna. And also, if you have this box, uh, maybe you have Zigbee device, uh, so we can install this uh, Zigbee USB dongle. Uh, you can see like this. And also, this is this is Zigbee USB dongle. Uh, this also you can install on this box. But this antenna will be removed and then replaced with the extender type and install on this USB socket, uh, just like this. Now, uh, there are some different uh, versions of the CM4 module, and some have the EMMC inside, and some without EMMC. Uh, what is EMMC? That is a, a fresh memory, it saves the data uh, for whole system. So I have two boxes. Uh, this box I have installed the CM4 with the EMMC, and this is without EMMC. So this box will use this SD card. And you can choose uh, any CM4 module uh, to use. And I can open this box uh, uh, and show what's the difference between this box. I can take out this box. And you can see uh, this is SD card. Just uh, plug in this SD card on this socket. And this CM4 also is no Wi-Fi. You can see uh, this socket, no Wi-Fi antenna. Now I will open this box and let you see what is the EMMC version. And you can see I have two KS868 server. And this is uh, without EMMC, and this have included EMMC. So you can see uh, there is no SD card, and this have SD card. And this is have the Wi-Fi version on CM4. You can see this is IPX uh, cable have connect with this Wi-Fi socket, and this is no Wi-Fi. So we just use the EMMC board on the CM4. So that you can uh, install the software and uh, save your data uh, on EM EMMC directly. So not need to use this SD card. Okay, uh, we have introduced the different hardware of the CM4. Now we look at how to install the Home Assistant software. 
And the first step, you need to install this exe file. This is a driver for Raspberry Pi SM4 module. So you can just make sure you have not uh, connected any USB device while install this program. And you can download and run in the win Windows install. Just download this file. And if you want to uh, install on the Linux or on the Macintosh, uh, you can download from the Raspberry Pi official website uh, corresponding the software version. And after you download, you, you will see I have downloaded uh, just uh, this file. Uh, this file you can unzip. You will find uh, this exe file. Just uh, click and uh, will be directly to install. And you can click the next and uh, agree and uh, next and uh, install. Now we just wait for a moment. Okay, this have displayed complete. You can click next and click finish. So we have complete installed the software of the driver. Now you can plug the USB cable and the, uh, to the controller and the computer. Now we will use this USB cable. This is type C USB cable. We want to connect with this controller and my computer and use this cable and connect with this this USB socket and this USB socket and connect to your computer because this box have eMMC uh, so if you uh, without eMMC you need to use this SD card and use this card and use this one uh, to write the image from the computer and this is a, a step 3 and now we, we do the step 4 uh, before we ready to download the image to the Raspberry Pi CM4, we need to change this jump. Uh, this jump, we need to change to the right. The default at the left, that is put from the Raspberry Pi. And now we, we need to use the eMMC. So we start with the eMMC. So we change the jump to the right. And this position, like this. You can see I can connect with this power line. This is for AC at 220 volts. Uh, that is for the uh, leave line and the neutral line. Now I can let it uh, turn on. Uh, you can see the blue LED and the sound from the windows. And the red LED and the server is working. And now we can see the windows and uh, we can do this step and running this exe file we have installed. You can see here, and you can see uh, this command, and you will see the sound have detect uh, the USB driver, that is eMMC. So we click cancel. And this time, uh, you can see the step six, uh, we, we have uh, pop up the Windows disk you, you have seen. So we can begin with the step two to install the software. And the first, we need to download this right image tool, uh, this file. We can click and open this website. That is the tool to write the image to SD card, just write to the eMMC. And this button will auto detect your Windows system or your computer system. So you can click just click. I have downloaded already. You can see uh, this is the file I have downloaded. So I can click uh, this file to install the tool and click run. And you can see I can click agree. And you can see this window. This is a tool you have downloaded. Uh, because we need to fresh from file. So this file you can download from this URL link. You can just click because this file is very big, uh, about 2 gigabytes. So I have already downloaded. You need to download and unzip it. Uh, just uh, this file is image. You can see uh, the size is big. This is the size. So I can choose this file. Uh, you can see I can select from file. I just click this button. Run file, and uh, this is I have downloaded. 
this is file. I can just uh, open. And this is select target. You can click. And you will find uh, this is detect the USB driver by the computer module, just a CM4. Uh, don't to click this. This is your system pass, system driver. And click select. And now you can just click flash. And this window, you can click yes. And now begin to start flashing. We can see we have down, and uh, for this step, uh, this is just our next step, and become fresh. When the fresh is complete, you will see this photo. So we just wait for a moment. OK, you can see it's complete, uh, just as this photo. And now we begin to start up our, our server for Home Assistant. So now we, let's look at this power, and we need to power off. And now it's power off, then we remove this USB cable. And this time, we need to change this jump. This jumper, before we write the image to the EMMC, we set the jump to the right. And now we begin set the jump to the left. The left means start up from Raspberry Pi. This is a jump. Let's set at the left. OK, uh, this is the left. And this time, uh, we use the network cable. Because for the stability, we let this network cable connect with this socket. Now, all is ready. We power again. And you can see, this time, uh, the Raspberry Pi is start up. And the LED indicate. You can see the green is blink. And you can see, uh, if you use the CM4 module with SD card, you insert it. If you use EMMC, just s skip this step. And connect with the e Ethernet cable and the power on. So at last, we just uh, use this URL, homeassistant.local, and the copy to web browser. You can open a window and paste. OK, you can see uh, the Home Assistant is start up for the Raspberry Pi. And this will take about 20 minutes to set up. Uh, this is the first window for Home Assistant. OK, you can see this setup is complete. Now we need to create the account. So this is a name, username, and the password, confirm the password. So I can import. Uh, King Kone for the name, and you can input by yourself. And the password is one two three four five six, and one two three four five six. That create account, and this is your home name. The default is home, and this is the location. Uh, you can uh, choose uh, which is your house operation, and uh, then you can click the next, and you can also detect. Click this detect and press the next. And uh, press next. And uh, finish. OK, uh, this is the Home Assistant dashboard. Uh, this is the first window for you. This video is tell you how to install the Home Assistant on the Raspberry Pi on KC868 server. In the next video, we will tell you how to install other software. Okay, thanks for watching.